Venezuela, 2-1 winners over Ecuador at <laughs> Copa America. Uh, Ale Moreno, Shaka Hislav, Hercules Gomez, Sebastian Salazar here to break it down. He took everything they had, a come from behind victory, a man up for most of the game. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the performance? Mom, over Venezuela! <laughs> oh, well, look. Uh, I'm sorry, that was about a 6 out of 10 compared to what we witnessed during the match. Oh, during the match. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. a tension there with Ale. Thankfully, the cameras weren't rolling for that. Yes, yeah, we would have had a lot of beeps. <laughs> the, 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 uh, in the both languages. <laughs> <laughs> the watch along would not have been a success. Uh, look, excited, of course, about the results. Excited, of course, about the three points. And, and I think excited about the reaction from Venezuela and that even though they are men up, they actually go a goal down. And the changes made by Batista, by Bocho Batista, that in those changes, you see a purpose, you see a plan. I'm going to put a second striker. I'm going to put in Eduardo Bello, who's more of an attacking player coming out of the midfield. And those changes made a difference to the point to where uh, Cadiz ends up scoring the game tying goal and Eduardo Bello scores the game winning goal. But uh, overall, I, quite frankly, to open up with three points in Copa America at any stage, at any point, I think it's outstanding for Venezuela. And it would be outstanding for any team, but Venezuela will take these three points. And I think it sets up the rest of the uh, group stage in a far more appealing and encouraging way for Venezuela. Chaco, what was your big takeaway from Venezuela today? Um, I, I, I thought the response from Venezuela was, was everything you could ask for. Seeing that, you, you get handed this gift as, as it win in Valencia's red card, and it absolutely was a red card. And I thought Venezuela started to dominate play there. Um, Ecuador really couldn't come to terms with being a man short. And then all of a sudden Osorio gives away a cheap free kick. And then it, the, the clearance from that is poor. And Ecuador find themselves in the lead. And, and at that point, Ecuador sort of started to look a little bit better. Venezuela looked a little bit shocked until the halftime break and changes were made. And even then, I thought poor finishing may have cost uh, Venezuela in this one, despite some of their good play and, and their domination. But they, they got the breaks, found the back of the net on, on a couple of occasions. The first goal taking a, a little bit of a deflection to get by the goalkeeper, but no, no less than they deserved. I will say overall, though, this was a fantastic game of football mm. that I, I thoroughly enjoyed from, from both teams. Um, and, and maybe, I, as per some of our discussions in the past, the pitch had a, a role to play in that. But it, it was um, it was very enjoyable, even for neutrals like me who were here for the more for the sideline entertainment of Ali's <laughs> Ali's reactions <laughs> as much as anything. The field today, to your point, was on an NFL stadium, but one that uses natural grass, hey, hey. Like the one that we've seen the last two, which is grass on top of an artificial um, surface. Ecuador here. This is a team that we thought might actually go out and win this group. Huge disappointment from them today. Yes, while it is a disappointment because you don't come away with a point. A man down, you're a goal up, take it home. Mm. Shut it down. Um, that wasn't the case. Uh, certainly, Felix Sanchez, uh, the head coach of this team, will feel they were put in a very precarious situation by one of his most experienced players. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Ener Valencia. He's 34 years of age. He's a, a legend in Ecuador. He, he's, a, he's a player who should know better than put his team in that position. And yet, they got themselves out of that hole. And it's how they let it slip away, the mistakes that were made. Uh, give all the credit in the world to Fernando Batista and, and what he did and the changes he made, taking out the two central players who were both, by the way, on a yellow, saying, I, I don't want to give the referee a chance here to even this up, to go 10-10. Mm. Let me take them both out. Let me be proactive, a double nine and a more attacking player out wide. Both those players involved in the goal. Uh, certainly, if you're Ecuador, you will feel like there was more on the table for you because even with a man down, even with 10 players, you take the lead, you look like the most dangerous of the two. You look like the most dangerous of the two until you weren't, until it was level. And then Venezuela grew in, and then it was what Venezuela dictating a little bit more of the pace, Venezuela using that man advantage. But certainly up until that point, you felt you were in this game. So they're going to come away with this feeling they should have had more based on the circumstances. How big a loss today and how big a loss moving forward is Ener Valencia for Ecuador? Well, it, certainly today, obviously, it goes without saying, you're now playing a man down and, and maybe didn't have the immediate effect that Venezuela would have wanted. But I think over the course of the game, it felt like Ecuador, they were losing their legs. And in losing their legs, they lost their organization. And you think about the first goal that Ecuador gives up. They had defended so well up until that point, And it comes off a throw-in. A throwing that they gave up because they were trying to play out of the back. They misplayed mm -hmm. the ball. Eventually, they give up the throwing. And now, you, 
what happens is when you're playing a man down, you think uh, as the ball goes out of bounds, this is a chance where ah, we're going to rest a little bit, right? I think the pressure is off a little bit. And they fell asleep. And you can't have it. And that's a disappointing part of your Ecuador is that you have to defend this away. And now, off a throwing, goes over your head, deflection, cross, goal, and now Venezuela had all the momentum. So, to your point about Ener Valencia, we don't know what the suspension is going to be of Ener Valencia. Maybe it's just one game, but maybe it's more. Because while we can talk about the intent of his kick on the face, neck area of Jose Martinez, this was a Mortal Kombat finishing move. <laughs> I mean, I, I, that's the sort of kick of, that Ener Valencia had. And, 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 and the broadcast that we're watching, they're saying, well, it's not in the makeup of this player. It's not what he has been historically. Well, it doesn't really matter because right. we're not evaluating him on what he has done over the course of his career. We're evaluating him on this tackle, and that tackle was dangerous. You talk about endangering a player. That was it right there. And so I don't know. Honestly, right now, I don't know that we see Ener Valencia again in this tournament because mm -hmm. I don't know what the severity of his suspension is going to, to be. To, 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 your, to your question, uh, Seb, listen, I, I think Ener Valencia gets one game. Um, Not worth any more. I, 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 I just don't see it. Uh, as we sit right now, and, and of course, they, they might have a, a deeper look at this and, and think differently from me, but as, as we sit right now, I'm thinking one game. And to your question about how big a, how big a blow or how impactful a red card that is, we know in a couple hours. I, I think once the Jamaica-Mexico game plays out, we see what that result is, and we have a better idea of the exact standings of this group. I think Mexico will get the better of Jamaica, um, Mexico being Ecuador's third game. So if Valencia really does get one game, then he's back for that game. Jamaica beats Mexico later on today, then all of a sudden, I, again, it takes on a different context, uh, Valencia being missing for that game. I'm more on the side of what Ali saying of we don't know how many games. That, that was reminiscent to if, a tackle like that, Angel De Jong versus Iniesta in the right. World Cup final. and that, to the chest, yeah. Out of nowhere, you can clearly see, he, while he's trying to go for the ball, he turns his head and, la and kicks out the, the, the leg to the right. It was very uncharacter excuse me, uncharacteristic, yes, but it was a play that you cannot make an experienced player like that. To enter Valencia if he's not available. Um, you're talking about a guy that in his 20 games between World Cup and Copa America has scored 10 goals, 4 assists. He's a big-time player. And in the bench, you're digging back to a Jordi Cortizo, uh, um, who plays in, in, in not, not exactly the same type of profile player, not exactly as polished. You're going to ask Kendri Paez, who's a teenager, to be the man now. It, it's, it's not the same profile high-game player that you're going to have. It's going to be a huge loss. You think Ecuador can turn around? Well, Seb, this is a problem for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because if Ecuador are going to turn it around, yeah. they're going to turn it around at the expense of... Uh, <clears throat> Mexico. Your That's boys. Right. Last group phase game. And, and to Shaka's point, what is going to be at play in that game? Mm -hmm. And I think Ecuador needing points is going to make it all the more difficult for Mexico. And so I, I look at Ecuador and I, I, I see Ecuador... It, Ener Valencia, while he is an answer for them in the attack, I think they're limited in that position regardless in terms of the goal scorer. The fact that Ener Valencia continues to be their answer kind of tells you they don't quite have somebody else to take on that position and that responsibility. But the rest of Ecuador, the back line, the midfield, is a very strong team. And I, th I, I think in both of those areas, they're superior to Mexico. And so that's where Mexico is in trouble if indeed Ecuador is going to need points, and it seems like they do. All right, so Venezuela then, 2-1 winners over Ecuador in Group B action. We got Mexico and Jamaica coming up later tonight. We will be covering that on tonight's edition of Football Americas, mm. boys. We ready? That hey! <laughs> okay, okay, we're back, baby. This, we're back. Uh, here's some foursome uh, joke by what? Ali Krieger in the what? aftermath uh, of nice uh, shirt I got on. Mexico yeah, and Jamaica covering all things Copa America. Later tonight. <laughs> <laughs>